Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reviewing the Fawn Design mini diaper bag and the Itsy Ritsy mini diaper bag. So I, I purchased both of these bags myself and I currently use the Itsy Ritsy Boss Bag as my main diaper bag, if you will. I just really love all the space and everything it has, but I do like having the option of just a smaller diaper bag. To start, I'll just go into the Itsy Ritsy Mini and kind of talk about that one and show you guys everything on the inside. And then I'll do the same with the Fawn Design, and then at the end I will kind of pack all this stuff. I have a bunch of baby stuff here. That would be all the stuff I'd put in this mini diaper bag if I was going somewhere and I'll show you how each one packs, pros, cons, all that good stuff. So let's go into it. So this is the Itsy Ritsy mini diaper bag. The retail price of this bag is $84.99. It's very cute. It's a, it's a backpack style and I must say the backpack diaper bag is the way to go 100% you need all the arms you can get you got a car seat on this hand you could have a toddler on the other hand you can't like be holding the bag up here so for the itsy ritzy mini it has two side pockets and then this front compartment on the outside and this front pocket is actually a really decent size this is usually where I would put my phone wallet keys just kind of my stuff very easy to access it does have the little handle and then all the um, accents and everything are all gold and I got the color taupe it does have one of my favorite parts of the itsy artsy bags is truly this rubber bottom it just kind of protects the bottom from wear and tear the itsy artsy also has this zipper right in the back here. This is where a changing pad would go. This one does come with a changing pad. The Fawn Design one does not. So it's got a handle right up top and also these little hooks if you were to get some stroller straps so you can hook it on a stroller, shopping cart, whichever. When you unzip it, it's just a cream color on the inside mesh pocket here pockets right on the inside this part has a mesh zipper that is the kind of overview of this bag i'm gonna jump into the fawn design now and then we'll pack them and kind of compare how they pack the itsy ritsy also comes in six other colors kind of pop it up here on the screen you can take a look they are all the same price and they just came out with a couple new ones that are oh, jumping into the fawn design bag i love the look of this bag i oh, i just love this bag i love it but mine in the color walnut and this one retails for 94.99 i think they're both very well priced um one thing about the fawn design that the itsy ritzy does not offer is although it is also the backpack style it does come with a another strap so you can wear it you'd hook it right on these little guys but you can wear it as a crossbody which is super cool it's kind of nice that it does offer either one see this one as i was saying before it has the zipper and you would think there would be a little changing pad back here but there is there's not unfortunately this one also has two side pockets they honestly they're not very roomy i would personally say just it doesn't feel like i could fit his bottle in there he uses the avent uh natural bottle i just don't feel like i could squeeze those in there and if i do i'm taking away from space on the inside which is kind of a negative there it does also feature a front pocket as the itsy ritzy does and it's got their little logo fun design there you really you can't fit much in there it's it's pretty tiny and then it does feature this pocket right above it no zipper or anything another thing the fawn design bag offers that the itsy ritzy does not is you can actually take the whole inside out <laughs> of the bag or like pull it up 
easy access for cleaning and everything. I'll kind of show you. You can literally pull out the inside. If you had like little snacks or something, a bunch of crumbs, you could dust that out of here or wipe it all down. And it goes right back to shape. Some bags, if you were to do that, it just doesn't go back the same. This one does. I really like that feature of this bag because I know once he's older, I'm gonna be storing snacks in here and stuff. There's gonna be crumbs, it's gonna happen, it's inevitable, but I can easily clean this bag. On the inside of this bag, it actually has a little back pocket right there. One, two, three, four little side pockets. It's got this little clip guy. Yeah, it's got this little clip like for your keys and stuff, you know? When you have a bag, that opens from the top and you put your keys in, it's gonna fall to the bottom. You gotta dig everything out. So I do like that feature, just found it. So now I am going to pack these bags up and kind of show you how they differ in that way. All right, so here we go packing the Itsy Ritzy Mini. I've got some diapers, wipes, bibs, burp rags, pajam pajamas, um, some spare clothes, just, you know, if they have an accident and some toys. So we'll kind of pack all this stuff and show you how it all fits. I was breathless when we first met. Couldn't keep my hands away. I was speechless when we first met. Yeah, you took the pain It's ritzy packed. So now I'm gonna unpack all this and we're gonna do the exact same thing in the fond design bag. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.